We're continuing our road trip down the turquoise coast in Turkey, and we're headed to Bodrum. Built around two bays on the southwest coast of Turkey, Bodrum's made a name for itself with an alluring combination of nightlife, beaches, and history. By day, you can visit the 15th century St. Peter's Castle or Bodrum Castle with its shipwrecked museum inside, or by night, hit the beaches for some DJ beats and stylish summer parties. Here are the top five places you need to visit in Bodrum. Let's start with St. Peter's Castle or Bodrum Castle. Standing guard over Bodrum Bay, this imposing castle is the image you'll see on every gift shop postcard. It was built by the Knights of St. John in the early 15th century and has served as a military base, prison, and even public baths over the years. Whether you're viewing the castle from sea or land, this castle is very impressive in its showing off of its medieval architecture. The construction of this castle took years to complete and it was occupying some 30,000 square feet at its base. Quite honestly, there's the reason why I'm mentioning the Bodrum Castle first. It's the icon and pillar of what makes Bodrum beautiful. And it's definitely a must see stop when you're here in Bodrum, not only because of the castle's beauty, but because this stop is actually going to take you to the next destination that you wanna see and conveniently, it's located in the castle and that's the Museum of Underwater Archeology. span I really love the fact that they not only get you to see a castle when you go ahead and make the trip down here, and you see all the wonders, you hear about the history, but a big part of the history is actually all the stuff that's happened at sea near this beautiful peninsula in Bodrum. And the underwater archeology span focuses on the shipwrecks specifically that have all kind of floundered around here over the last 600 years. So some of the wrecks here on display includes the world's oldest, found in Uluru-Burun in Southwest Turkey. And this is actually believed to be from the 14th century BCE. And it was so fragile that it took a decade for them to resurrect. So lots of great stuff here in this museum. If you love history, if you love learning about, you know, kind of the past, the shipping, it was pretty fun. You learn how they transported goods, how they transported gold, silvers, olive oil, a whole bunch of commodities. It really gets you to open your mind about what global trade was like back then, the risks that these people took, you know, to make the economic engine continue to kind of move. So absolutely love the time here. You know, you come, you see a castle, you learn about history while you're surrounded by these beautiful beaches and wonderful weather. And this is truly a top experience to visit when you're visiting Bodrum. Number three is Bodrum Beach and the Bodrum Boardwalk. Look, you're coming to Bodrum. You know Bodrum's known for its amazing markets and nightlife. So you're coming here right beside the castle, actually on the left-hand side of the castle is the Bodrum Boardwalk and Bodrum Beach. Here you can go ahead, enjoy the waters, you know, soak up some sun, have some ice cream, go for a snack, and then just walk down the entire coastline on the boardwalk and really do whatever you want. You wanna go shopping, you can go shopping. Do you wanna go eat some food or go to a bar or have a snack or get some ice cream? Everything was basically there on this boardwalk. Um, it was quite lively during the day, lots of great shopping. It's packed, it's alive. We were here again in June and it was just busy and it was nice. The weather was awesome. You get the nice breeze coming off the Mediterranean while it's hot. It was about like 30 or 32 degrees while we were there with some highs at 35 degrees Celsius, but um, quite honestly, this was epic. And it's kind of right in the center of Bodrum, right beside the castle. You have that awesome view of the castle, kind of no matter where you go, especially if you're on the beach side. So it's definitely another place that you must go and see. Prepare to walk. There's a lot of walking that you're gonna be doing. Or they also have those rentable scooters everywhere. Um, if you like scootering around, we like scootering around. You can take one of those electric ones, pretty easy to go ahead and use. But definitely wanna walk around here, enjoy yourself, enjoy the time, especially at nighttime. You know, lots of clubs, bars. They actually have some sort of catamaran ship that's a big floating club if you wanna to go to that as well. So lots of fun that you can have at Bodrum and at the boardwalk day or night. So the next stop, obviously you're in Bodrum and you're in the turquoise coast. You're gonna go visit some more beaches. It's definitely Camel Beach and Gumbit Beach. 
Now, if you want something more laid back on a soft stretch of golden sand backed by rolling hills, you want to come to Camel Beach. It sits in the scenic bay devoid of any high-rise hotels or noisy bars, and it's one of the more family-friendly spots of the Bodrum Peninsula. It offers very shallow water, and it goes fairly deep. I'd say about 100 feet deep, and the water was clear, the water was calm. You can go out and just enjoy in some shallow water, not, you know, fear a little bit of going too deep. And honestly, it just felt like the greatest family destination, right? You come in here, we got a nice umbrella and we got some shade. We were laying down on the beach. You get food, you get drinks, you get whatever else you need. And honestly, the houses around there are just very cute, nice white houses. It definitely reminds me of like a Mykonos or Santorini in Greece. And you just sit back and relax. Like, what can you say, right? You just have beautiful, fine sand, beautiful water, great sun, great weather, water activities, right? If you got some boats, you can go out and do some boating. But really, you can kick back, relax, and enjoy kind of like a little bit of the less of chaos of uh, the downtown city of Bodrum. And by the way, when I say chaos, I'm comparatively speaking. Bodrum's population, even with tourists, surges up to about 200,000 in terms of population. Um, so it's really not that crazy, but it is crazy because it is small. So Bodrum, the peninsula, is quite small and packed. So with all those people, especially tourists, it's always gonna feel like it's a big party there. Um, so Camel Beach is definitely a little bit more laid back, a little bit more relaxed and chill in some place that you know you can comfortably bring your kids, bring whatever, bring your family and have a great time. Now the next stop is Gumbit Beach. This beach is kind of more like, you know, it's the middle. You want the, you know, hectic vibe of, you know, right in the middle of Bodrum, either day or night. Or do you want something very relaxed and chill at Camel Beach? But maybe you want a bit of both. Maybe you want some relaxation. Maybe you want some party. Well, Gumbit Beach is probably that location for you. Not only the beach, but also all of the bars that are just outside of the beach. Um, restaurants, so much fun activities. Um, it's definitely another kind of alive part of Bodrum. But the beach is kind of unique, again, because it has a quiet area at Gumbit Beach, but it also has kind of like a party area at Gumbit as well. So it kind of depends what you want. Do you want to stay in the quiet area, you know, relax? You also have a beautiful beach with great sand. Um, not as sandy as Camel Beach, so not as sandy as Camel Beach, but still shallow for maybe 100 feet going out. So it's beautiful, clear water. Again, lots of stuff right on the beach, restaurants, bars, music, a party, or you can just sit back, read a book, do what you'd like. But Gumbit Beach, definitely a place you wanna go visit. Another one that I definitely would say, along with Camel Beach, you're here in the sun of the Mediterranean. You wanna go ahead and explore some of these beaches and I have a bias towards beaches. And if I forgot to mention Camel Beach, do they have camels there? Unfortunately, we didn't get to see a camel, but apparently they do have camels there. So you can take a camel ride at Camel Beach if you want to. There are no camels at Gumbit Beach. Just a lot of parties and a lot of drinking, if that's your vibe. And finally, we're going and saying the boat tour is the next destination that you need to see when you're in Bodrum. Only because you want to get out in the water again and see everything around the peninsula, right? You want to go ahead, see it from a different angle, and there's no better way to go ahead and experience it with a boat. So, of course, in a previous video when we were in Fetier, we took that boat tour and that was awesome. That was a great way to see Fetier. And in the same way, you want to come to Bodrum, get on a boat and just go experience the beauty of the nature, of the beaches, of all these different places. One of the areas that we visited was Cleopatra Bay and that was just breathtaking and gorgeous. And it's awesome to see that all of these um, little pieces of the island of the peninsula meeting the Mediterranean Sea and it's just so beautiful. You get all these beautiful colors of turquoise and blues all come together with the fish all kind of swimming across your feet when you're in the water. And the water's very salty, so you just easily float. And it's 35 degrees and it's hot and you get into this water and you feel so refreshed. It's quite honestly one of the things that I always say to do if you're in Turkey and in the Mediterranean, get on a boat tour. Go see all of the areas around the peninsula that you can't on foot. Go enjoy the water, soak up the sun, you know, listen to some music, do some dancing if that's your thing. Not my thing so much, but 
you know, everyone likes to dance. I like to dance sometimes too, but I was more in the relaxation mode at this point. But you can do what you want. And that's a great thing about a boat trip, right? You want to party, you want to have a fun time, you want to just have a, a relaxing, you know, jettison out into the water, you can do that too. But this boat trip that we did, we went on a pirate ship boat, um, which was a little bit different from the, you know, kind of real boat, I would say, that we went to in the past. It was a little fun, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean. We thought, listen, when's the last time or when's the next time we're going to go into the Black Pearl? So we went onto this pirate boat into the sea in the Mediterranean. I thought it was really cool. We had a lot of fun. And those are the top five places to visit in Bodrum. Bodrum is a beautiful, beautiful city. It is just gorgeous, right? The Mediterranean Sea, all of the beaches, the amazing, amazing food, the great people. We stayed at the Marmara Bodrum, which was just over top of the city, and it just looked breathtaking. The sunsets turned the sky into a dark orange fire, and it was a great time. We stayed here for five nights. Um, I wish we could have stayed there longer, but great destination to visit. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're on this road trip in Turkey. We went to Antalya. We went to Fethiye. We went to Marmaris. We're in Bodrum. We're going to go to Çeşme after along this road trip down the turquoise coast. And this has been an epic, epic road trip. If you follow me on this channel, you know I love cars. And a big part of my love for cars is the fact that it's kind of interwined with traveling. And there's no better way to see a city or to travel around the world than you know taking the road taking the road experiencing it driving down the paths to your destination seeing all the beauty and that's what we saw in turkey on our trip to bodrum just breathtaking scene after breathtaking scene it was quite remarkable so again make sure you like this video follow me on my journey here as we go through the rest of the turquoise coast in turkey and um, go ahead and experience all of this if you have any questions leave them down in the comment box down below bodrum is a hundred percent a destination that you need to come to see when you're in turkey and if you have any questions about anything let me know in the comment box down below it was such an awesome experience and you know i will highly recommend turkey to everybody that i talk to um, and specifically if you're looking for a beach destination bodrum specifically just absolutely breathtaking in every way and this is some place that i know we're going to be going to again so that's how wonderful it is that's how beautiful it is and it was just great to not only staying in the city but driving into it and driving out of it it was just breathtaking you go through these mountains you see the mediterranean by your side you're driving down on these winding roads it really makes the experience um, way more pleasurable especially when you get to see it like that and not just go from hotel to hotel without going ahead and actually experiencing that and you know we were in the 2022 clio um, renault and it wasn't the most powerful right 65 horsepower 95 pound feet of torque and it just didn't have enough oomph to really get up the mountains and go through a lot of the stuff that we wanted to go through without making me feel like oh my god this engine's living on redline this entire time and we're barely gonna make it but for a rental car and that's what we got i highly recommend it like we had this rental car for what i think two and a half weeks and we paid about 500 euro for it which is about at the time 600 canadian dollars and you know at the time the euros actually crashed down to being almost one-to-one -one with the canadian dollar or the us dollar so definitely you want to take a car you want to have a car rental um, that made the experience so much better and quite honestly even though the car was super slow if you get a nicer car great the experience was all that mattered you know taking those twisty roads putting your eyes on those sites that you know it's a once in a lifetime opportunity you'll probably never see again but i'm going to make it a point to come here again so i hope you guys enjoyed bodrum the last stop on the mediterranean seaside of our road trip on the turquoise coast our final destination we're going to be visiting Çeşme, just to the left of izmir and seeing that on the agency which is going to be awesome so again make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video